Cheryl. Um, I am based in the Toronto office. I'm the International Marketing Coordinator. Um, and I'm also um, being helped by Anne Alexander, who's a Social Media Coordinator um, in the Toronto office as well. Hi, everyone. Um, and she is going to tell you um, a little bit on how this webinar is going to work today. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can ask the questions right um, in the panel on the right side of your screen underneath questions. Um, if you can't see the screen or can't hear the screen, you can just press on the hand icon like you're asking a question and we'll be able to um, get to you. At the end of this webinar, right after it completes, you'll get a survey and please complete the survey for us because then we'll know um, how to you know, be, do our webinars better for you in the future, or if there's anything that we need to fix, maybe there are questions that you have that we're not answering. So those things we only know if you tell us through our surveys. And this webinar will be recorded, so it's also it'll also be available to view later on, so or for you to share with anybody else that might need this information. Okay, great. Uh, so we'll start the webinar. Um, so that's just um, a picture of me, <laughs> so you can put a face a face to my voice. Um, so next is, or first is the overview of topics I'm going to be discussing today. First, I'm gonna go over um, the CUAC institution profiles, all the universities um, and colleges that are in the CUAC network, um, what to expect at a CUAC education fair, um, what items you should be bringing to the fair so you're prepared ahead of time, um, and how to keep in touch and follow up after a fair. So um, first, I've, I've put in this map of Canada just to give you um, an idea of how um, big our CUAC network of schools are. Um, we're located um, all across Canada um, with seven universities and three colleges. Um, and that, next, I'm going to give you a brief overview um, on each university um, and college because it's really important to do your research before you get to the fair, um, know what um, CUAC reps are going to be there, what schools they represent, um, and maybe do some research on the schools ahead of time so you know what programs you'd be interested in um, and if you um, even qualify academically for the programs. Um, so our first school is the University of Windsor. Windsor is located in southern Ontario um, at the crossroads of Okay, now can you hear us? Yeah, I think we should be fine. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, technical difficulties. Yeah. Um, so um, I'll just go over again um, quickly the University of Windsor profile because I'm not sure when the audio got cut out. Um, but Windsor is located in southern Ontario at the crossroads of North America, facing one of Canada's most beautiful waterfronts right on the Detroit River. The school was established in 1857 um, and offers its 16,000 students more than 120 undergraduate programs, including uh, unique degrees in the areas of social science, environmental science, um, and communications, as well as engineering, business, and science programs. Uh, with renowned faculty and state-of-the-art facilities, Windsor supports students in pursuing independent original scholarship with meaningful real-world applications. Um, so we'll move on to the next uh, CUAC University, um, the University of Winnipeg. So Winnipeg offers more than 50 undergraduate degree, degree programs, postgraduate uh, professional programs, 
um, as well as a high school, the Collegiate. It was established in 1871 um, and is located in the Central Business District in the province of Manitoba, um, which has one of the highest employment rates um, and one of the lowest costs of living in all of North America. Um, international students won't find a better combination of available education options, a more welcoming environment, or more favorable work and immigration opportunities at a lower cost anywhere in the world. Um, the university's 10,000 students uh, study in the areas of business, economics, life sciences, international development, theater and film, and many more. Um, so the next institution, St. Mary's University. Um, this school was founded in 1802 and is located um, in the heart of Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is um, an, the Atlantic provinces um, largest city in the Atlantic provinces are located on the east coast of Canada. Um, with a student population of 8,000, where the average first year class in an undergraduate degree program is only 30 to 60 students, St. Mary's is able to offer student -centered, a student-centered learning environment. Um, renowned for its Sobe School of Business, SMU off also offers a variety of undergraduate programs in engineering, computer science, criminology, international development, education, environmental studies, and many more. Um, and in the city of Halifax, you'll never be short on any things to do. The city is rich with history and culture and offers over 450 restaurants, a vibrant local music scene, live theater or outdoor activities such as hiking or a day on the beach. Um, so next is um, the University of Victoria, which is located um, in British Columbia in Canada's West Coast. Um, the West Coast features uh, beaches, forests, and mountains all next to one another. Um, it's incredibly beautiful, one of the most beautiful campuses in Canada. Um, it's a fairly large university with 20,000 students, um, and it's ranked first in Canada and 11th globally. Um, and UVic offers students a classroom experience with top internationally recognized experts. Experts, sorry. Uh, popular undergraduate programs include commerce, engineering, health sciences, ocean sciences, fine art and performing arts. For students interested in getting hands-on, career-oriented work experience as part of the university degrees, UVic is also home to one of the country's largest cooperative education programs. Um, so next we have Algoma University, located in um, Northern Ontario, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Um, this is a smaller town. The city population is only about 80,000, with a student body population um, at about 1,200. Um, academic departments are biology, business and economics, um, community, computer science, mathematics, English, fine arts and music, geography, geology, history, philosophy, psychology, and sociology. So going to the school is more like having um, a small town experience. Um, in St. Thomas University, uh, this school was founded in 1910. Um, St. Thomas has a unique campus community that is united by scholarship and friendship. Uh, the school's community of students and alumni span across Canada and the world in the shape of award-winning authors, Rhodes Scholars, a federal court judge, a prime minister, a premier, an Olympic athlete, and the speaker of the Senate of Canada. No other university in Canada specialize, specializes as exclusively in the liberal arts. The four-year Bachelor of Arts encompasses over 30 fields of study with numerous interdisciplinary options. STU is recognized as a leader in the fields of international relations, economics, human rights, criminology, journalism, social work, and education. With a student population of 2,300, classes are small and interactive with no class more than 60 students. St. Thomas has attracted international students from more than 80, from more than 80 countries with a very strong scholarship program that recognizes leadership and academic success. Um, so on to the next school. Um, Bishops, uh, one of the newest additions to our CUAC network, is located in um, Sherbrooke, Quebec. Uh, the city has a population of about 150,000, um, and it's located just a 30-minute drive from the U.S. border and an hour and a half from Montreal. Um, Students are at the forefront of every decision that is made on the Bishop's campus, from the, the development of academic programs to the way that teaching and learning occurs. 
Um, with a student population of just 2,300, Bishop students are members of a dynamic and engaging community where class sizes average about 25 students. Um, and every professor will know your name. School spirit is something that Bishops has become famous for, and it's a really fun and engaging place to be a student. So next we're moving on to um, the colleges. First is Sioux College, founded in 1965. Sioux College is located in the beautiful city of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, on the Canada-US border. True to the Canadian experience, Sault Ste. Marie offers four seasons living nestled in between three of the world's largest freshwater lakes. At Sioux College, you're provided with services to help you succeed, including academic support, social activities, as well as airport pickup, accommodations, healthcare, program registration, counseling, and international student advising. A campus with plenty of study space, computer labs, cafeterias, athletics, and a campus shop also support your success. Canada's Maclean Magazine ranks, ranks the college at the top of the province in graduate satisfaction with 85% of graduates seeing that they're highly satisfied with their education. Sioux offers its 4,000 students a full range of programs, including certificates, diplomas, advanced diplomas, postgraduate certificates, degrees, and apprenticeship programs. Uh, next, we have Confederation College. This is located in um, the province of Ontario, too, but in Thunder Bay. Um, the school delivers exceptional education and training to an average of 11,400 full-time and part-time students. Um, it offers more than 50 programs in four different academic schools. Confederation is committed to quality education and has some of the highest graduate, employer, and student satisfaction scores in the province of Ontario. Students will have a truly Canadian experience and develop a global mindset. The small classes and committed teachers ensure that students receive the support they require. Students can select distinct programs, which are not widely available elsewhere. Several programs offer work placement opportunities and co-op education, which help further career opportunities. Um, and last but not least is Lethbridge College. Um, this is actually the most recent school added to the Kuwait network um, and the first school we have in Alberta. So Lethbridge College opened in 1957 as the first public college in Canada and offers 50 career training programs, applied degrees and apprenticeships with an exciting selection of programs such as fashion design, interior design, Geomatics, Engineering, and Multimedia, all programs offer hands-on experience and practicum in addition to theory-based learning. Lethbridge College is located in uh, Lethbridge, Alberta, two hours south of Calgary and an hour north of the U.S. border. Students at Lethbridge College are given the opportunity to apply what they learn in the world, real world with job opportunities and practical learning experiences. The college aims to educate students to be environmentally responsible and globally aware. Um, so what to expect at a Quack education fair? So representatives from each Quack institution um, will be available um, to talk to you about their school and discuss your qualifications. Um, and I included um, an example um, of an ad we created for um, the education fair in India. So you'll see we have, um, I think we have 12 university reps um, in total. Um, so definitely be prepared with all your transcripts and everything you need. And that's why you need to have an idea of what school you could be interested in um, because this, the fairs will be very busy and not every rep will have a lot of time to spend with you. So maybe jot down your, your questions on a piece of paper um, so you'll know exactly what to ask them when you, you meet them to get the, all the information that you need. Um, so specifically the documents that you should be bringing to um, the fair in Bangladesh. Um, so if you're attending, the Kuwak office in Dhaka should have screened you um, ahead of time and giving you an invitation card. And they'll also, they should have also assigned you um, a time slot for you to show up at the fair just so it's not too crowded all at once. So please remember to bring your invitation card and show up um, at the time that you you were given and carry the invitation card at all times because you won't be able to get into um, the fair venue if you don't show the invitation card. Um, and also bring a copy of all your education transcripts and certificates. So this includes um, your transcripts from high school. This, um, If you're a high school student, this includes your transcripts from your undergraduate degree 
if you're a university student looking to study a master's. Um, and for um, the India education fairs, it's quite similar. Um, they have tried to screen all of the students, although they haven't been able to screen everyone um, because you're also you're allowed to show up even if you don't have um, an invitation card or a time slot. Um, <clears throat> specific things that the Kuak India offices have asked um, undergrad students and high school students to bring are your class 10 and class 12 mark sheets. Um, if you haven't graduated from high school yet, um, at least bring your predict predicted class 12 um, results. And for students looking to pursue graduate studies, same thing, bring your class 10 and class 12 mark sheets and also um, the semester-wise copy of your, your undergraduate degree, just not the degree because they want to see every single subject you took and all the marks that you got. Um, and also bring your CV because it just helps the CUAC counselors um, and CUAC um, university and college staff get an idea of who you are, what your background is, what you're looking to study, if you have any work experience, et cetera. So if you want to find out um, specific details about the CUAC education fairs, please go to our Facebook um, events page. It'll tell you the time um, and the date and the specific location of the fair. Um, and then also at the fair, if for some reason it's really busy and you haven't been able to speak to a university rep or you haven't been able to speak to a counselor, you can always go to our Facebook page and you can ask a question there or you can always um, follow up with the, the office after the fair. Call the office, make an appointment, speak to someone on the phone, um, send an email, because we'd like to get to every student, but unfortunately sometimes it's not possible. Um, so that will, that will complete the CUAC um, webinar. Again, if you have um, any questions, I'll, I'll open the floor um, for, ask, for people to ask questions. Um, type them in on the pane on the side of the window. Um, and you can also send um, us an email after the webinar, and you can ask on the Facebook page as well. Um, so as we're done, are there any questions right now that, um, that I can answer? Okay, I don't, I don't see any questions. So again, thanks everyone um, for joining us. Um, and we will be doing webinars um, in the future, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, um, contact your local CUAC office um, and visit us, visit us on Facebook for updates. Thank you. <laughs>